Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician with my crazy hair today. I definitely need a haircut. Um, I hadn't planned on making this video, but Propeller Heads recently just released Reason 9.5.1, which adds uh, several different performance enhancements to Reason 9.5. And so I just wanted to give you my quick reaction to that. Um, download it right now if you're on Reason 9.5. On my computer, it made a huge difference. Now, uh, 9.5 makes better use of the processors, but it also enables hyper-threading, which I don't fully understand, but apparently for some people and for certain processes, depending on what type of processor you have, hyper-threading allows your computer to have a lot more resources to manage uh, and to draw from. Um, and then also just the way it is now dealing with audio, I found, doesn't nearly... Uh, and my computer doesn't nearly use up as many resources. Um, I still think that Reason 9.5 is heavier than other DAWs that are running VSTs, and it's also, um, I would say, still a little bit buggy, but I think 9.5.1 really first demonstrates that propeller heads are committed to improving this and to getting it to where it needs to be. Um, it's basically a month, month and a half, since uh, they released the original 9.5. I think that's a pretty reasonable timetable. Um, so not that there was any doubt that they wouldn't support it, but uh, it's just good to see. Um, and you know, I think as time goes on, they're going to learn how to work with the VSTs and how to optimize for certain platforms. Just reading on the forums, I've seen some people are having problems with UAD plugins still. Um, and there's a few other manufacturers that still um, don't work great with Reason 9.5 yet, or even plugins within certain manufacturers. They've also added the ability to go from to drag MIDI from uh, VSTs into the sequencer um, and clean up a few different bugs. Um, there's still some bugs in there and some things that need to be worked out, but by and large, this is a great step forward in Reason 9.5 um, and in Reason in general. There's no reason not to get it. If you have, we're on the fence about Reason 9.5 and whether you should upgrade from like Reason 9 to 9.5. Um, I would say now the performance is probably about 20, just from my rough eyeballing of a few songs that I was working on. I'd say I probably have about 25% more power today than I did yesterday. Um, and so, I, you know, it, it definitely feels smoother. Um, I still don't think you could make a, unless you got a powerful rig, uh, you could make like 20 VST big complicated tracks uh, using something like Respire or um, Exhale or Signal or something like that without bogging it down. But if you're willing to bounce, this gives you quite a bit more um, horsepower. So go ahead, check it out. I think if you've been on the fence about Reason 9.5, I think this is a good time to jump in. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to like and subscribe uh, and leave a comment about your experiences with this update because it seems like maybe from what I read on the forums, about 5 or 10% of people have still not really seen much of a benefit from this. Um, so I'd be interested in finding out why that is. But on my Windows 10 computer with um, a mid-level couple-year-old i5 processor, it's been a huge jump forward. Thanks a lot, and have